All right, probability. Let's calculate some probabilities. So, for this lesson, you'll be given data either in frequency format, um, like in the lesson right here, where this uh, discussion is about finding Mr. Wright, and if there were 10,000 males on the Palomar campus, uh, and you're supposed to conduct a survey with them, what are the odds that the next male you meet is either attractive or wealthy or an A student and so on. So in this case, I give you the count or the frequency. Sometimes you'll be giving the actual probability. We'll talk about that difference in a minute, okay? So let's start real simple and start with the problem that is what is the probability of meeting an attractive man? Again, the exercise is your professor asked you to survey males and um, you're waiting for the next one to walk in the door of this 10,000. What are the odds that that person who walks in the door next will be an attractive male? Well, we can calculate that based on these frequencies. So probability is simply so. We want the probability of attractive. It is simply the frequency of how often that can occur, 6,100, divided by the total frequency. What are the chances? 10,000. And then essence is calculating the probability, 0.61. Or you have a 61% chance of that happening. So when you do these problems, one of the first things I would do is take the frequencies and convert them into probabilities. We can do that right here real quick. Probabilities. This is a fairly easy calculation because we have this 10,000 here. So 6,100 out of 10,000 is a probability of 0.61. Wealthy, 1,700 out of 10,000 is 0.17. Uh, A students, 0 0.091. B students, 0.246. C students, 0.576. And D students, 0.048. So we have the frequencies we started with, and now we've converted them into probabilities. And we'll see how we use these probabilities to create what are called compound or complex probabilities when we combine more one together. But that's how you solve this first problem. 